Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be discussing Rusty Stevens, best known for playing Larry Mondello, the mischievous character in the classic sitcom Leave it to Beaver. Larry is one of Beaver's schoolmates, one of his best friends, and a boy that really, really likes apples. Rusty was born Robert Stevens on November 25th, 1948 in Boston, Massachusetts. And it seems that Rusty did not set out to become a child actor. He was simply a regular kid engaging in typical kid activities when a talent agent spotted him and took an interest in him. Rusty was cast in a few minor television roles, including appearing in two episodes of the children's series Shirley Temple's Storybook. And in 1957, he was cast to play Larry Mondello in the TV show Leave it to Beaver. He appeared for the first time as Larry in Season 1, Episode 8, the episode titled Beaver's Crush. In this episode, the story revolves around Beaver, who develops a crush on schoolteacher Miss Canfield, played by the beautiful Diane Brewster. Larry and the other kids make fun of Beaver and persuade him to play a prank on Miss Canfield by placing a fake snake in her desk drawer. Eventually, Beaver feels guilty and confesses to Miss Canfield, and she is very understanding about little boys and their crushes, and she quickly forgives him. Larry is not the brightest or most honest child. He's always hungry, snacking on apples or candy bars. He frequently finds himself in trouble and almost always involves Beaver in these misadventures. Larry's father is never home. He is always away, leaving his poor mother, Margaret, to deal with his bad behavior. And a little side fact about uh, Margaret, she is played by actress Madge Blake. And Madge Blake went on to play Aunt Harriet in the 1960s Batman series. And she also played gossip columnist Dora Bailey in the 1952 classic Singing in the Rain. Rusty starred in 68 Leave it to Beaver episodes between 1957 and 1960, and then he suddenly disappeared. Before her death, Barbara Billingsley gave an interview to the Archive of American Television. She stated that the cast and crew loved Rusty, but that his mother was overbearing and made such unreasonable demands that the studio had to let Rusty go. But Rusty has since revealed that his primary reason for his departure was his unhappiness being under contract with the studio. He desired more freedom, he wanted to enjoy his childhood, engage in regular activities like attending public school, playing, and doing all the fun things that every child deserves to experience. And I think both stories can be true. I believe Barbara believed that's what happened, or that's how she remembers it. However, hearing Rusty's side of it, his mother's demands were more likely her trying to protect her child, more than her being an actual overbearing stage mom. Rusty was unhappy, and his mother may have been trying to ensure that her child had a more normal life. When the studio couldn't find a solution, they became tired of hearing about it, and Rusty was released from his contract. After departing Leave it to Beaver, Rusty appeared on popular television shows such as My Three Sons, Perry Mason, Wagon Train, and The Rifleman. And I feel like everybody appeared on The Rifleman back in the day. After Leave it to Beaver, Rusty didn't land any significant roles. And once again, I'm going to go back that if his mother had been a pushy stage mom, I think there would have been more pressure on him to stay famous. Eventually, Rusty and his family returned to the East Coast, where he lived a more peaceful life. He went to school, served in the army, and eventually settled down and got married. The Leave it to Beaver cast lost contact with Rusty over the years, and when the cast planned to reunite for the TV movie Still the Beaver in 1983, they didn't know how to contact him. And the producers were interested in having Rusty play that role again. 
And Jerry Mathers had always wondered what happened to his friend. And I read that they hired a private investigator to find him, and they discovered him working as an insurance salesman in New Jersey. Luckily, they persuaded him to take on the role of Larry again, as no one could have portrayed the character better than Rusty. And although his appearance was brief in the movie, the movie acted as a pilot for the TV series The New Leave it to Beaver, which continued for four seasons, had 101 episodes, and Rusty made cameo appearances in three of them. But after the new Leave it to Beaver ended, Rusty once again slipped out of the spotlight and returned to his normal everyday life. If you have a favorite Larry Mondello scene, leave it below. And if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.